The CT is, is actually very simple. If, if we're doing a, a calcium score without a CT angiogram, um, there's no IV. All that happens is they get a couple of EKG leads put on them. They go into the CT scanner, which is, is like the big donut. Um, they take a quick scout film, and then there's instructions to hold the breath, and the, the scanner rotates very quickly around the patient, um, and they wouldn't feel anything. And, and as soon as the, um, the whole heart is scanned, the, the test is over. So that's really all there is to it. It takes about five minutes total and, and about you know, 10 to 15 seconds of scanning time. Um, if we're doing a CT angiogram, then it requires us to put uh, an intravenous line into a, a vein uh, in the arm, um, just in front of the elbow, and they get a contrast injection, and, and then roughly the same procedure that I just described for the non-contrasted scan, but it takes a little bit longer because um, there, there's a little bit more technical work to be done when we administer contrast. But still, the, the whole study is typically done in, in 10 minutes or less. We sometimes use drugs to slow the heart rate if the heart rate is fast because that gives us better pictures of the heart. And usually we can just give people a pill, either the night before or the morning of, to help do that. Uh, we generally give people a pill of nitroglycerin as well to help open up the arteries so we can see them better. But the, um, those are the only drugs that are given right now. If we're doing some sort of a stress test during MRI, um, then we have to use drugs to, um, to stress the heart. And so we, we usually use a drug called adenosine if we're doing a stress test in the magnet. And if we're doing a, a stress test in the echo lab, we either put the patient on the treadmill and have them walk to stress the heart, or we use medication that makes the heart beat fast and hard. If we decide that there is something significant, um, I would likely make a call to the doctor that referred the patient there and say, I, I think this patient has a, a significant blockage. We ought to go on and do some kind of a stress test, or we ought to take them straight to the, the cath lab to do invasive angiography and see if there's something that needs to be stented in there. Or it could even um, have a, a consultation with a surgeon if we think there's something that needs to be fixed surgically. Um, our goal is, when possible, to even have a result while the patient is still um, nearby and so that we can, we can give them follow-up, sometimes let them see the images of their heart and help make arrangements. And, and obviously if there's something um, immediately concerning, then, then we could potentially take them straight to the, the interventional lab if need be.